welcome to our fashion, beauty and lifestyle show. I'm your host, Adeze Adwaka, and these are the headlines. Kanye West accused of wanting to get intimate with Bianca Sensori's mother in her presence. Kylie Jenner and boyfriend Timothy Chalamet enjoy cozy dinner at New York City Pizza Parlor. Usher admits he would never let his children stay with Diddy in Risa-faced interview. And on our trending segment, Kanye West is facing serious allegations in a lawsuit filed by his former assistant, Lauren Paisiota, who claims he sexually harassed and stalked her during her employment. The updated lawsuit reveals disturbing details, including claims that West expressed a desire to have sexual encounters with the mothers of his sexual partners, specifically mentioned his wife, Bianca Centuri. According to the lawsuit, he frequently discussed this kink and even sent Paisiota a screenshot of a conversation with Sensori regarding the matter. The lawsuit paints a troubling picture of West's behavior, suggesting that Sensori was not just a wife, but also an on-call sex party participant or employee during their relationship. This claims highlight a pattern of inappropriate conduct that has raised significant concerns about West's treatment of women in his personal and professional life. This is actually the most, I don't know if I can use the word disgusting, you know, thing that I've seen online this entire year. I mean, is this actually possible? Do things like this actually exist? Because I I'm finding it so difficult to believe that this will actually be true. This is actually a serious allegation made by his, you know, former assistant and employees. Actually really serious because it has really disturbing information. <laughs> And on our sporty segment, Kylie Jenner and Timothy Chalamet were recently spotted enjoying a cozy dinner together at Little Charlie, a popular pizza parlor in New York City. The couple who have been making headlines for their budding romance appeared relaxed and engaged in conversation as they dined in the lively atmosphere of the restaurant. Jenna opted for a casual look in a white t-shirt and black pants, while Chalamet kept it laid back in a grey hoodie. Photos and videos from the evening show the pair leaning in closely over the table for the fueling speculation about their relationship. The dinner date marks another public outing for the couple, highlighting their growing connection as they spend quality time together in the bustling city. I love love. I love to see, you know, a couple, you know, being so in love, making public appearances. And I love Kylie. I mean, she's such a good mom. And I think Kylie's actually a good lover. I don't know. I see the way she treats, you know, her kids. And I see the way that she's always with, you know, her partners, how dedicated and how loving she is anytime she's, you know, in a relationship or, you know, with any guy. You can just tell that this lady is actually you know um a lovebird right so i also see the same thing with timothy chalamet such a cute guy looks really cool doesn't have any problems he's not someone that wants trouble at all so i think they actually make a great couple and seeing them together uh, they look really cute i mean timothy is actually a very very stunning cute guy and then having someone like kylie i mean it's a power couple very cute they look so good together i mean i love seeing two people so in love and you know looking so cute so I really like them together. Guys, keep it going. We love to see it. <laughs> and on our editorial segment, Osha recently spoke out about his past experience living with Diddy, stating he would never allow his children to stay with him. This admission comes after an interview from 2016 Resurfaced, where Usher reflected on his time at what was dubbed Puffy Flavor Camp when he was just 14 years old. He described the experience as pretty wild and crazy, mentioning that there were many curious things happening that he didn't fully understand at the time. When asked if he would ever send his own children to a similar camp, Usher quickly responded with a firm, hell no. This strong reaction emphasizes his concerns regarding the environment he experienced as a teenager and highlights his protective instinct as a father to his four children. I can only imagine what would have been going on in this so-called Diddy parties. Like, for every time a celebrity describes what is going on, there is always some craziness, some dirtiness, something strange going on that they cannot explain. I mean, I saw a video where Chloe was also describing, you know, her being at the party. She was just like, oh, there's a bunch of naked women everywhere. Hmm. These entertainers, I'm telling you, what these people do behind closed doors is unbelievable. And for Usher to come out and say, hell no, it means dirty things are actually happening at these parties. I'm talking maybe orgies, you know. I don't know, naked women. 
maybe drugs Ugh. guys this Diddy case is not going to end anytime soon so Usher is just you know trying to keep a clean slate and just staying away from this whole DD drama and I actually like it for him but I cannot really wait to see what this whole thing is going to be about I mean is there going to be any proof is there going to be videos is there going to be screenshots of things that really go on hmm my fingers are crossed and I'm really hoping and praying for Didi at this point because the accusations are unreal. Like, there are things that you just hear, you just be like, nah, this cannot possibly happen in this world, but they are actually happening. So, fingers crossed and I'm, you know, hoping that he gets out of the situation because it gets crazier by the day. And in our new collection, Hailey Bieber's Barrier Butter is set to launch really soon, promising to enhance your nighttime skincare routine. This luxurious buttery formula is designed to fortify the skin barrier and lock in hydration for up to 24 hours, helping to restore the skin's natural softness and elasticity. With consistent daily use, it aims to deliver impressive results for heavier looking skin. There is currently a wait list for this product. Welcome back. I hope you enjoyed watching. And on Spicy or Not, Grammy-nominated Afrobeat artist Arya Star made a striking impression at Paris Fashion Week, showcasing her talent not only in music but also as a fashion icon. Having first attended the event in 2023, where she sat front row at the Balmain and Off-White shows, she returned this year with a signature style and confidence. At the Louboutin show, she wowed attendees in a retro-inspired satin dress featuring dramatic draping an asymmetric cut and a high neck design. She completed a bold look with denim thigh high boots and a luxurious fur coat, while a striking hairstyle, glowing skin, and subtle nude makeup added the perfect finishing touches to her ensemble. I mean, I've said it countless times on this show that Arya Star is killing it this year. And I repeat it again, this is Arya Star's year. She's killing it in music, killing it in fashion, makeup, hair. I mean, look at her. She looks stunning. She looks beautiful. And I love nude lippy on her. I think she has a thing for nude lips and it's really good on her. But I would love to see her on red lips though. I've never seen Arya rock, you know, a bold red lipstick look. Never seen her on that. But this nude always does justice to her look and she looks absolutely stunning. I love the look on her. I love the thigh high boots. I love her hair. I love everything and the way she put it together. And don't forget to catch us up at Spice TV underscore Africa. Until the next episode, do have a lovely time. Bye.